listen. Uh, hi, welcome back. So, today, on our podcast, I have some topics for us. Because it's a podcast, and you have topics on a podcast. Let's hear them. All right, so, I'm going to... I'm gonna make a new section. It's called Noba's Daily Challenge. Because we do this daily. New segment, eh? Okay. Okay, okay. So, check this out. Um, this is for me? Yeah, it's for you. Okay. But then you can flip it back on me once you're done. Oh, okay. okay. I like that. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Go in. So, uh, a few episodes back, we were talking about uh, animation and like some some cool people, some cool things. Uh, and you know, there was this challenge on Facebook, maybe like 2015, I think. Uh, but, uh, it was like, uh, describe yourself in three cartoon characters. So yeah, I, I, I can see Ooh. you. I yeah. S- I'm thinking now. Yeah. You're thinking. So, uh, if you want, I can start. So you have time to think about it or yeah. we can just do this. You're right <clears throat> off the bat. Yeah. You can, you start because I want to steal some of your ideas. So go ahead. All right. Good one. So. For my three, uh, first one is Aang from Avatar: oh, The Last Airbender. Okay. Yeah. Second one is Number Four from Codename Kids Next Door. Not sure if you Ooh, remember that. I forgot about that show. Yeah. Do you remember who he is? It's like the short blonde guy in the orange hoodie. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't remember that show very well. Okay. I remember I used to watch it. I okay. I forgot about that show. Yeah. Damn. Okay. It's really good. And the last one, uh, I want you to take a guess. Danny Phantom? No. Is it a Butch Hartman character? Not at all. Okay. See, now all I can think about is Butch Hartman characters. Oh, okay, okay. But <laughs> uh, Patrick Starr. No, that's a good one. No, that's... Okay. All right. Uh, it's Shaggy. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, yeah. yeah. Well, I, was, I, I made this a couple of nights ago, and uh, when I was thinking about it, I was like, oh, my God, who's that one cartoon <coughs> character that like I always relate to? And... Like, hey, Scoob, Shaggy, Roro, Roro, Raggy. Yeah, I think I think Shaggy and Scooby. Yeah, it's top two. I know. So I'll, I'll I'll talk about it a bit. So Ang from Avatar: The Last Airbender. Uh, I think uh, while I'm not in my podcast persona, my podcast sona, uh, feel free to draw that for me if you're a fan artist. Casona, Casona. Uh, I'm like I'm pretty like calm. Uh, I don't like conflicts. I like I like problem solving, so I like resolving conflict. Uh, being able to control the four elements would be so badass. I know I can't do that, but it'd be very cool. But I think I'm like pretty pretty self aware, pretty like uh, like monk ish, I guess, but not really. Um, yeah, just like the whole character of Aang, I found very relatable as a child growing up. Mm. So. He was very down to earth. Very, yeah. You know. Yeah. Even though, like, he was an airbender, and like, hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think that's why they did that. Um, uh, after that, I have number four from Codename Kids Next Door. Uh, he, as a character himself, he's someone that I don't think that I'm very similar to, because he's like really like fighty, like right, just a little scrap. He loves to like fight people. Uh, and like he's very short, but like he was, he's blonde, mm-hmm. uh, and he had a thing for Asian girls. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. that's gross. That was a joke. A joke. <laughs> a joke. Take that back. It wasn't a joke. Um, anyways, it was a joke. Uh, but yeah, he was just really funny. Uh, I think I like to think I'm funny. You know, sometimes. 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 But uh, think of think about it. Kind of relate more to number two, but mm-hmm. that's fine. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, he was just like the short. Oh yeah, and his real name was uh, Wallaby mm-hmm. in the cartoon because he was Australian. Oh damn. Yeah, I uh, I really love Goading Pizza Six Door. It's very great. And finally, like hey Scoob, uh, it's Shaggy. Uh, physically, I just have to put on a green shirt for Hall- Halloween. I'm <laughs> already Shaggy. Honestly, you Honestly. got the hair. Yeah. I used to like it was shorter so it was actually like shaggy hair yeah and like it wasn't a full beard it was just a little goatee mm-hmm. uh, yeah um, he's a great character very cool I'm very jumpy very skittish can be can be can be yep. um, don't really like doing things I love my dog he's my best friend um, mm-hmm. yeah 
uh, aside from you and my other best friends who know they are who they are, <laughs> isn't that right? Uh, Bugwhack used to be uh, one of his handles. Locomas. Uh, I mean, what, what else? He had so many. JD Green twenty five twenty at hotmail dot com. <laughs> That's oh a very old email. He's definitely deleted it. Uh, anyways. <coughs> Three cartoon characters. How do they describe you? I always, I was always cringe at Hotmail, like usernames, even though they might be normal. Just Hotmail in general, I cringe about. Hotmail's weird. I know you use Hotmail. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, three cartoon characters. Um, I was actually looking them up because, like, I was like, oh, geez, I don't know. I know. I gave you time. But now I've got a good couple that I actually think. Some of these, I got something stuck in my teeth. I'm sorry. It's okay. Just unstick it and continue. Okay. <coughs> Let's see here. Um, so, gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> no, <not> goofy. <laughs> really? No, not Goofy. Oh, okay. I just wanted to say that. Um, no, not Goofy. Not any of those Disney characters, except for maybe Pluto. Cause he doesn't. He doesn't care what goes on. Because he's a dog. Yeah, but I'm not gonna pick so Pluto. Goofy. He'd become like a fourth. Okay, first one, Johnny Bravo. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. Really? Sometimes I feel like that. Really? Sometimes I feel like I'm a, like a not necessarily like cocky, but very confident. Oh, that, that's that's you know? good. That's a good thing. Like sometimes, not all the time. <laughs> I'm just confident, and I feel like when I had blonde hair, you know, this is just Johnny Bravo. I was I was slick with the ladies, <laughs> you know. Listen, this isn't a joke. <laughs> I'm dead serious right now. Give me your best Johnny Bravo impression right now. <laughs> hey there, ladies. <laughs> We're shaking. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's hear it. What are you going to say? I was going to say, hey, sexy mama. Oh, like. hey, sexy. Wait, how does he talk? I haven't it's, seen it's Johnny Bravo in forever. It's Elvis Presley. Oh, man. No. Hey, sexy mama. Hey, shake, hey sexy mama. <laughs> I can't do it. That's that like a southern. That, that's. <clears throat> is, that, is that Yeah, Elvis? it's Memphis. All right, what's, what's next? The <laughs> next one. Uh, Philip J. Fry. Okay. From Futurama. Because <laughs> I feel like he's oblivious to a lot of things sometimes, and I think I'm that way too. That's okay. Honestly, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, for the last one, uh, I think I want to say I want to say Tommy Pickles from the Rugrats. Really? Yeah. Okay. So Rugrats are all grown up. No Rugrats. Rugrats. Yeah. It's because you're baby penis. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, never I, seen this. I told you. I, don't know. I, I told you that in confidence. Sorry. How about you just? Listen, if it helps, you might have a baby penis. I have a micro penis. Listen, we're cutting this bit out. Right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tommy Pickles, because I think, because <laughs> I think, it's a, uh, I don't know. He, it's, it, he's innocent. He is innocent. I like to think sometimes I'm innocent. <laughs> Most of the time, I don't know what I'm talking about. I, I think that's, I think that's correct. I think I put a bad segue into that talking about. Yeah. But yeah, I, yeah. Th I think those are our solid three picks. Um, yeah, just like overall, I see it. Um, you see all of them? Or yeah, you I just do. see? Yeah? I do. Okay, okay, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think those are solid. I, I know I'll think of something later. I'll be like, damn, that's better than any of those. But 100%. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That's very cool. Yeah. Uh, so a natural segue. I bought, <laughs> <laughs> I bought a sweater. <laughs> Recently, uh, <laughs> not just from one from your work. No, I uh, I bought one. So there's this company, I I think you've heard of it. It's called New Scotland. Uh, oh yes. Company. yes, 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 Ooh, yes. I, I do like their clothing. Yeah, I just haven't bought any. Nah, it's okay. So uh, it's okay. That's okay. No, okay. How much? Okay, let me ask you. How much was it? I know you're probably gonna get into it because, but like, I find a lot of clothing brands that are like big Very, and up and coming they're yeah. a little expensive especially with shipping yeah especially like the home like mm -hmm. the east coast thing yeah yeah they're very expensive because i know i was looking at sorry i don't mean to like cut you off or anything oh, but let me let me talk about this for a second yeah, i was looking at you see east coast lifestyles new sweaters that yeah. they have like the provinces it's like a black sweater and they have the province flag on like the the 
the butt belly pocket okay. and the hood on the inside is like blue for like Nova Scotia but okay. they have like a Cape Breton one a PEI and a New Brunswick one Ooh. and like a Newfoundland one and a Nova Scotia one Yeah, it's so nice I want the Nova Scotia one so bad it looks so nice but they're like 70 bucks yeah. and then plus shipping over here it's like over 100 or something it's, yeah. but yeah anyway what what's did, are you going to haul up a picture is that what you're doing yeah I am uh, <clears> so yeah uh, this is a bit pricey yeah. uh, so I actually bought like I bought the sweater and I bought sweatpants, which were like Ooh. more than the sweater, but they're damn really they're nice sweatpants. Ooh, I I need a good pair of sweatpants. Yeah, yeah, but anyways, uh, the sweater is basically, you know how like pro skates have like that map of Nova Scotia deck. Yes. Yeah, so it's kind of like that. Oh, nice! Uh, I can only imagine because I really want that deck. Yeah. It's so nice. Nice deck. Anyways, uh, here's a picture of it on someone. I got, I also got like a size larger Ooh, than mine. Yeah. So like uh. It'll like be nice and cozy, but if you go back, you'll see like the actual. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that is I nice. like that. It's really nice, uh, and yeah, it just looks big, comfy, and cozy. <clears throat> nice map of Nova Scotia on on the sweater. Yeah, that's nice. It's really nice. Um, and I just you know I really haven't updated my wardrobe. I've like splurged on some like expensive flannels, but yeah. like. Yeah, I. I feel I definitely want a sweater from from down home somewhere yeah exactly and like no offense to east coast lifestyle but mm -hmm. like uh there's more brands from nova scotia no definitely i definitely want to represent i for sure like i was at the works the other day and i saw a guy with the uh, east coast lifestyle hat on yeah i really wanted to talk to him about it but i was too too intimidated and scared yeah because like, nervous boy yeah because you'll see some people with them and like oh i oh what what are you looking at that's fucked up okay so Bought these sweatpants for like sixty-two dollars. They're on sale now, aren't they? They're thirty-seven dollars, <laughs> but it's okay because they're sold out now. <coughs> oh, there you go. There we go. So paid the big bucks to get them. Um, I want to make sure that they're the same ones I got though. Yeah, I think they are. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll show them to you. They're called Artisan Melange sweatpants. Ooh, that sounds fancy. They, Wait, like lounging, like eating, like melange, m melange. melange. Oh, melange. Okay. I forget what melange is. Yeah. Check those out. Ooh. All right. Oh, New Scotland. I like that. Yeah, it's very cool. Nice. Sale, sale, sale. Those are actually really nice. They're really nice. Uh, for everybody, shout out New Scotland Clothing Co. Probably called. Yeah. yeah? So New Scotland Clothing Co. Go check it out. Link is in description if I remember to put it in. Yeah, uh, you should uh, sponsor us. So, yeah, hey, we'll go take some when when Toba gets his sweater and sweatpants. You know, I'll put the sweatpants on or the sweater, and we'll take some photos we'll for take you. Some we'll we'll do this. We'll we'll be brand ambassadors. Yeah, our whole like nine people that watch us consistently. We'll have a nice little niche, Ooh, true. niche audience to buy new Scotland clothing. Hey, we'll help you out. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, there we go. We'll, uh, we'll give you some some little. Uh, we'll make some videos. We'll make some skits. Ooh, some we'll sketches. Some, we'll do some ad reads oh. during the podcast. <gasps> can can you sponsor us? <laughs> oh, I, I just want to do an ad read. Honestly, though, That'd be shout sick. out to uh, to Audio Technica also <laughs> for sponsoring this episode. <laughs> <laughs> we got some great mics. <laughs> yeah, that's not true. We just have <laughs> well, we mics. do have good mics. <clears throat> it's just just not sponsored. Audio Technica. Sponsor us, or we're gonna switch to road. Get on it. Ooh, that's that's kind of harsh, don't you think? Listen, just switching to road, just like that. Honestly, road sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll use anything. That's true. Just <laughs> sell out. Yeah, it's true. Sell out club. <laughs> also, a cool little thing on on the New Scotland uh, clothing uh, website. Mm -hmm. I know I'm just selling this brand, uh, but uh, when you're on it and you're scrolling through, you can see that like someone from texas just bought a hoodie oh from, yeah that's neat have you did you see yourself pop up no i didn't weird but like someone else probably did that's nice yeah but like yeah you're right yeah and there's one like every two minutes which is like insane oh it's really good my mom really wants to start a clothing company because like she's really intrigued by like east coast lifestyles and new scotland oh yeah so like she's really like she just has to like she just needs that drive you know she needs yeah. that design like i feel like she's just like if I help her out, I'm sure we could do it. Yeah, that'd be that'd be interesting. That would be interesting. Let's do it. Let's start a clothing brand. Hey, uh, to Nova's mom. Nova's mom. Start a clothing. 
Let's make a clothing brand, Mom. Yeah, actually... I know we've been talking about it, and, you know. No. But, yeah, uh, I actually do want to <clears throat> touch on that. Because um, when I was growing up, uh, I was in a program called 4-H. Uh, and one of my 4-H leaders, uh, she was a nice woman. Her name was, her name was Karen, one of the, like... It's not all about you, Karen. Like, those names. She's <laughs> yeah. a sweetheart. She's a lovely lady. She actually started her own clothing brand. Uh, I believe it was called, like, Country Fried or something. It was, like... Oh. Yeah, it was, like... Okay. Oh, yeah. Jeez. What was it called? It's like, Country Lifestyle Clothing or... Interesting. On. I was going to look up Muscadaba Clothing Company. Because, yeah. And everyone in Muscadaba, like, bought... Bought it. Hometown like, shout out. Yeah. Shout out, Musket Yeah, it was. Oh, uh, yeah. Country Fied Clothing. Oh. That's a good name. Yeah. Country Fied Clothing. Yeah. That rolls off the tongue nice. It does roll off the tongue. <clears throat> and like. There's two C's. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm going to see if I can look at this. Yeah. yeah. Nice. They got a website? Sick. Damn, nice. Yeah. One of the ones is I kissed a farmer and I liked it. <laughs> very, very pandering to the. The note must get it. Yeah. Uh, there's one. Uh, it's her son. Uh, the picture says still plays with tractors, but like now he's a bit older, so he plays with like real tractors. Right. Uh, instead of the ones. Uh, one says genuine farmer's granddaughter. This is just like cute little things. Yeah, it's something your your grandmother would buy. You yeah. know. Uh, there's a picture of a rubber boot, and it says country girls stilettos. <laughs> That's. This is definitely. Pinterest things. Yeah. Oh, man. These are actually so cute. Uh, but, yeah. It's promoting agriculture and rural living. And it's very sweet. Very cute. That's nice. I'm glad that she could make a... I wonder, like... You know, I always wondered, like... You know how our friend has that one that one company, uh, Sun and Cedar? Shout out, Sun and Cedar. Sponsor us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sponsor us. Sun. <laughs> Sun and Cedar. Sun and Cedar. Shout out. Uh, link in description also if I remember to put that in there. Oh, my God. <coughs> I, I love her stickers. Oh, I know. Her like her designs, like seriously, go check it out. It's actually really nice designs she puts out. Yeah. Um, her Save the Queen like uh, art and the shirt for that, it's so nice. Oh my god. Sun and Cedar. Sun Check and it out. Cedar. Um yeah, like damn, clothing brands. Love to get started on that. Um even with our own designs. Like I think if we if we really sit down, think of some designs, think of a clothing company brand name, I don't know. But there's one also down home. They do uh I forget what it's called, but they have like it says home on it and then it had below it it's just like a a silhouette of Nova Scotia Ooh. and it's like it's really nice and the sweaters were really nice that I checked out because I went to the 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 what was it the something by night north by night market or something in the north end Halifax last year okay um, on Gottagen anyway they had like a little market thing and people were selling like handmade soaps and stuff and uh, they had like this clothing company there and they had like sweaters and stuff Ooh. really nice I forget what it was called it's gonna kill me I think they, when I looked them up, I think they only had an Instagram at the time. Okay. I think they were just starting out, but I wonder what they are. We'll find out. Shout okay. out that company. Shout out that company. Sponsor us. I actually, I love seeing local businesses grow. Because mm -hmm. I remember when New Scotland first started out, I was like just like the 16-year-old kid. Uh, worked at a summer camp up in Cape Breton. Uh, used one of my paychecks to buy like a sweater. Mm -hmm. It was a hot pink. It was watermelon Ooh. pink. Oh. Uh, it was like their base logo they still sell it they don't i don't think they sell it in pink anymore yeah but it was like just like uh the nova scotia like lion mm. yes i rem i know that one yeah yeah and it said new scotland <clears throat> clothing co on it and i remember i went to the alderney uh farmer's market mm. and uh this I, I'm, a, I'm a i'm a big person i was a bigger kid at the time i didn't have any of my size uh, which was large and they were like uh, we have a small if you really want I was like yes and it fit whoa really yeah it actually fit for some reason I don't know why it like fit like a shirt like it wasn't like okay. a baby yeah. sweater but like I guess back then like I played sports so it fit fair fair but uh yeah they had that they have a place on the waterfront too i remember last summer yeah had a little uh like um pop-up shop yeah it yeah. was like in a in a little trailer. storage unit thing yeah. yeah 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 they do have that uh and they also uh they have a brewing company now 
not sure if you oh, saw that. Yeah, on uh, down by the ferry terminal in Alderney. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah, it was like very new. Yeah, I think it just opened up or something when like, I was leaving. Yeah, this summer. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they had like a really good cider. Oof. Yeah. Damn, I want to go now. Oh, they had mead. That's oh, why I mead. Drink. Yeah. I did. I heard a lot more about that than I thought. I do remember the people talking about that. Yeah. Damn. Nice. Yeah. I think mead is my favorite like, <clears throat> spirit. Yeah. Like, alcoholic beverage. Yeah. I've never actually had mead. It's so good. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? More like a cider, a beer? Like what? What does it taste like? So. Do you know what it is? To it's like a yeah, it's like a honey yeah kind of drink yeah. yeah. So my best way to describe it is like a honey cider. Okay, it's so like, it's sweet. Yeah. Oh, is it dry? It Can is dry. It, yeah. it is. Can it be not dry? Yes. Okay, because I'm not a big fan of really dry ciders. Okay. But yeah. like I. It's not like a. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I want to try it. I love honey. Yeah, it's great. It's super good. I'm a big fan of honey. Also, another cartoon character. I think I'm like Winnie the Pooh. Me too. Yeah? Yeah. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Uh, hey, have you seen Christopher Robin? No. Oh my god, such a good movie. I watched it for the second time the other day. Fuck? It's so good. It's 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 tear jerking. That's so good. I uh, I remember like is it like the newest one? Yeah, the the live action one with yeah. uh Ewan McGregor. Ewan Ewan, Ewan McGregor. Ewan? Ewan? Yeah. yeah. I remember like I that when that trailer came out like last year or like however long ago it yeah came out. It, was, it was like last year because I watched it the first time in the summer yeah I remember when the trailer came out I like started crying in my bed I was like oh, oh. my god because <laughs> I like oh, so sad damn yeah. what are we at for time uh, we're doing super good <clears throat> we're at oh we're at 21 minutes oh shit okay uh, so yeah okay I had a couple Urban Dictionary things again here for you we just do one just one yeah let's yeah. do two two okay because I had this one yeah okay two's fine um so this first one, I just, I want to use it in my everyday life because I think it's really, it's a neat thing to say. People might cringe at it and think it's stupid, but I think it's, it's kind of cool. Um, so it's, it's on ice. So what do you think somebody would say to you for you to be like on ice or, you know, say it, just like, be like, do you know what it means? Do you know what I mean? So it's not like on thin ice. It's just on ice. No. So it's, it's, it means just chilling. So somebody is like, Hey, what are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm on ice. I'm just chilling. Yeah, so how you Listen. thought people would react? This is kind of how I just reacted right now. Like stupidly? Yeah, like, a little bit. Yeah. I think that's like a great <coughs> If you're a dad... Hey, exactly, I am a dad. Yeah, that's exactly what you'd say. Yeah, you're right. Now I'm thinking about it, it sounds stupid. It's something that people have to say for people to get because like I'd have to explain it every time I said it. Yeah, like if you say, oh yeah, I'm just on ice with the wife and it's like people are like... You're on thin ice. What would you do? I was like, Oh no, we're just chilling. Just chilling, yeah. Yeah, but I, I think, I think there's a niche. To I'm it. defeated now. I, I think there's a niche um, to it. I'm upset. Uh, I want to build you back up because you know we were so excited about it. I'm very sorry about that. Fuck. Sorry. Damn. It. What's number two? <sighs> Alabama hot pocket. You know what that is? <laughs> I'll just Take gonna, a guess. You gotta go down to the state fair again, in Alabama hot pocket. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> you want to do this at a state fair? Oh, ooh, okay. Let me read the. <laughs> Let me read you the sentence. Okay. You think you want to do this at the state fair? All right. Me and this girl last night were doing some kinky shit, and then I gave her an Alabama hot pocket. Oh wow. So what's really kinky that you think an Alabama hot pocket would would be? Ooh. Think of kinky stuff. Kinky stuff. Yeah. So like joints, doorways. Okay. Um, let me see. <coughs> so the term hot pocket mm -hmm. makes me think of doing something with your butt. Okay. Uh, Do you want me to point you in the right direction? Yeah. You're like warm there. It's not exactly your butt. Okay. Okay. It's the other thing. The other thing. Okay. Um, <laughs> the I don't know where Alabama comes in. Yeah. Do you like... That's a tough one. Because, yeah. like, Alabama, it doesn't really give you a... I guess people in Alabama are just dirty, I guess. <laughs> or, like, do this a lot. You poop in the <laughs> vagina? Yes. <laughs> 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 you got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's gross. <laughs> that's really gross. That sounds infectious. That, that is... Not that it would catch... Yeah, not that people would catch on and be like, oh, my God, this is so great. It's sweeping the nation. 
not that kind of infectious. No. Like actually, like that's a yeast infection. That's a yeah, that's an infection. Right that's now. why, like, when girls wipe, the they, hospital. Like, have to like lift up on one leg and like do it from the back. <laughs> Go from the back. Yeah, yeah. you can't. You can't. Yeah. Oh but uh, so yeah, before you said the dirty, I was like, I was thinking, Alabama. It's in the south. South is your bum. And then you said dirty. I was like, oh, you poop in the. That makes sense. South. I wasn't. I don't even know where Alabama is, honestly. But it makes sense that it's in the south. Yeah. I don't know geography. I don't know either. Or geometry. Or trigonometry. Oh Jesus Christ! Don't go there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that that's the episode. Uh, man, I I want to do I want to do a quick episode review. We started out <clears throat> very wholesome. I don't remember where we started. We started with the three cartoon oh, characters. Yeah. Then we went to talking about how lovely and beautiful <laughs> when a local business flourishes mm -hmm. and we closed off on a man shitting in a woman's vagina <laughs> so folks that's the episode we'll see you next week see you later alligator <laughs>